how do you feel about like female artists that's coming out of that? They're wickedness. They're not keeping the commandments of God. They're wickedness. Even, let's, let's deal with their apparel, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Like sexy red. Let's, let's deal with their apparel. I don't know who that is. All I know, all these women are wicked as hell. And they're not, I don't know who they are. They're not singing the gospel of God. I don't know who they are. And I'm not talking about, uh, uh, what's that? I, I need a, I'm not talking about Anita Bynum and all them people. I'm not talking about them. If they're not talking about the truth of God, I don't know who they are, bro. I don't. They're not, they're not in the spirit of God. All I know is what I see on TV is our sisters whoring themselves out, shaking their high parts everywhere, half dressed. They want to call. They want to call themselves queens, but they're not acting like royalty. Read what you got. Two and nine. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Let me ask you a question. The way them women dress on TV, do you want them walking beside you on the street like that? No. You don't. No. You see how they dress. You see how they dress this. Yeah. You know, the brother, I'm glad the brother's on. The brother said, no, I don't want that. You want your wife covered up, right? You want her modest. You don't want every Tom, Dick, and Harry out here looking at her. So guess what? Because if you do that, now you're allowing that sister to allow brothers to lust on her. Now they're in sin. Now that's murder. Now that's destroying our community. Because if it's thought in your mind, it's called adultery, brother. So you got to have your sister covered up. You, don't, you just said you don't want a wife like that. Sis, you don't want to be ashamed, right, do you? We got to cover ourselves up. Keep reading. With shamefacedness mm -hmm. and a sobriety. Are these sisters shamefaced? Are they ashamed of how they dress, how they act? Nah. Everywhere you see them, they twerk. Every chance they get, they twerking on a car. Yeah. They twerking on a building. Yeah. They twerking in the church. Yeah. They twerking at the school. Yeah. They twerking in the unemployment line. They twerking in their abortion office. They twerking everywhere. Right. Right, you don't want a sister like that. Right. And guess what? Half of the time, they drunk. Or they have them pills. Right. Cause them kids, that's all they do is pop yeah. pills. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Read that again for the top. And like men also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel, uh -huh. with shame baseness mm -hmm. and sobriety, mm -hmm. not with braided hair, mm -hmm. or gold, or pearls, or costly array. So listen, the Lord not saying there's, not, there's anything wrong with you wearing your earrings and your necklace, bracelets, but that outward appearance has to be in modesty. You shouldn't be known just by Oh, she can sing this song, or look at her hair, look at her nails, look at her eyebrows. No. Sis, brother, I got to ask y'all a question. The most precious things in this world, such as diamond, gold, and rubies, are they easily accessible? Are they, how much work does it take to you get a, to get a diamond? Or to dig some gold up? Or precious jewels? How, how, much, how much time does it take? A lot. So guess what? If our sisters see themselves as precious, shouldn't they cover themselves up? Shouldn't it be steps to gaining the system? Bring it out. Proving the system, betrothing the system, then getting married? It should be steps to it. Right. The same way it takes to get to those precious stones and those precious jewels that's buried in the earth. The most precious things in the world are hard to get to. The easiest things to get to are right in front of you. They're revealed, they're uncovered. That's accessible to everybody, nobody wants that. Why do you want something that everybody done ran through, everybody done been on? You just asking for a mess. That's what you're asking for. So in like manner, sisters, you gotta adorn yourselves in model, modest apparel. Like, since you're apparel, even put on a nice pretty dress. You a daughter, sir, you a child of God. Put on a nice pretty dress. Brother, she you see your hips and your thighs. That's for your husband. That's what, what you say, brother? Yeah, nobody, nobody want that. You want, a, you want a sister that cover herself up, right? Not giving all her goods out to everybody. But guess what? It's not good anymore. Now it's spoiled. Everybody that took a turn on like a knob. Nobody wants that. What do you do out today? What do you do after you touch the doorknob? You wash your hands, don't you? Because because people now, all kind of filthy people to touch that thing and it took a turn on it. The same way we got to keep the commandments of God and follow these laws. We got to come back to the Bible. Right. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is one of the things we can do as a people in the community. It's, is what we're about to bring right here. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. The Lord calls all of his people to bring themselves together. Right. Watch this. It's only a certain group of people God called. That's this nation right I want y'all to look at this sign. It's brothers, brothers. If y'all ain't looked at it yet, check out that sign at the bottom. Sister 2, check out that sign. Those are the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the people that God called together. Watch this. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. God said, gather yourselves together, 
O nation, not desire. Give me Amos chapter 3, verse 3. I got to ask you something. God said, gather yourselves together, O nation, not desire. Who's the most undesired people on this planet? Bring it up. Who the most undesired people on this planet? Black folk? How many, uh, bro, how many other nations you see coming in this community to try to build us up except us? How many Asian people? I ain't talking about these people here. They don't care about you. They don't love you. That food in front of them is using that same grease before COVID. And y'all coming up here and eat. They don't care about the community. They don't care about us. Who else, who, what other nationality people is coming out here dealing with us, building us up outside of us? You ain't seen no white folk come out here. You ain't seen no Chinese, no Arab. You ain't seen nobody else come out here but our people. We trying to build us up. Read what you got. Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Yes, sir. Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. Now, Zephaniah 2 1, God said we must gather ourselves together. Now, God is telling us, can two walk together unless they be agreed? If you believe that God, if you believe that it's okay to steal, since you believe it's okay to do drugs, bro, you believe it's okay for people to uh, be gay or whatever, how can we come together as a people if we all don't agree on the same thing? I agree with the Bible. I don't agree with sodomite, sodomite lifestyle. I don't agree with my people destroying themselves doing drugs. I don't agree with same-sex marriage. I don't agree with my brothers killing each other. My sisters being whored out. My, my young brothers and sisters being left alone by themselves to uh, fight for themselves. I don't agree with that. I want to be around like-minded brothers and like-minded sisters that's following the word of God. That love their people and love their community. That want to keep the commandments. Who don't want to see 35th and Madison messed up. Who don't want to see 33rd and Roanoke messed up? Who don't want to see 9th and Ivy messed up? Who don't want to see none of the downtown Newport News messed up? Those are the brothers I want to build with. Those are the sisters I want to build with. I don't want to build with people that's destroying their community. I don't want to build with those brothers. But I do love them brothers and I want them brothers to be built up so we can bring our community back together. Read, read that again. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Brother and sister, y'all familiar with the uh, Million Man March? Y'all familiar with that? I remember back in the day, uh, Luke, um, Farrakhan used to bring everybody together, have a Million Man March. Now at that Million Man March, we used to have them. They used to have them every year, right? They did it for like two years. Like two years, right? Now every Million Man March, you seen all religions, right? All national black folk. We talking black, all religions, gay people out there. All the people came together, right? Million Man March to, to what? What was what was the purpose of the Million Man March? Bring people together, basically. Bring people together to do what? Come up with some solutions. Come up with some solutions. For the, you black community. for the black community. Come up with some solutions for the black community. But you see all those things we just listed? It was different religions out there. Different um, people had different moral beliefs, different ethical beliefs. But God said, can two walk can two walk together unless they agree? Let alone a million men that don't agree. But God said, can two walk together unless they be agreed? But guess what? After the million man march. Has our communities gotten better or worse? Worse. The sister said it. Brother, after the million man watch, have our communities gotten better or worse? It's gotten worse. So what has the million man march done? It has done nothing. Why? Because they lack the knowledge of the Bible. Give me that on Hosea. They lack the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God is gather yourselves together. The knowledge of God is one mind, one body. One nation. That's the wisdom of God. Give me that in Hosea chapter 4. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for it. You hear what God said? Hold on right there, soldier. Hear what God said? He said, my people <laughs> are destroyed. Are, are we not destroyed, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Look, at what, look at what we subjected to. Yeah. How many people don't have transportation? We subjected to this and the Piggly Wiggly and Church's Chicken. And some raggedy Chinese food. Don't put nothing, down here. nothing quality for our body. I'm like, ain't that a lawsuit against the city? God said we destroy. Something. Read what you got. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge? What y'all think that knowledge is? Knowing that God loves you and that he, he, He's there for you. Okay. Taking the good times and bad times. Okay. You said that God loves you. Yeah. We're going to come back to this. All right. Now finish that out. We're gonna show you what the love of God is. Finish that out. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. 
see what God said? God said, see, we reject the knowledge. Guess what he's going to do? He reject us. And get, what, what that rejection like? Look at this sign right here. Brother, sister, look at this sign right here. When we reject the God, I want, come here, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Y'all come right here, bro. Yeah. Sis, let me show y'all something. When we reject the God, this is what, what, what he did to us when we reject the God. Bring it out. Fast forward from this, 1619, fast forward to 2023. Look where we at right here. Right. Newport News, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Destroyed for a lack of God's knowledge. Yeah. Right. This is where we at right now. From here, they took the chains off, and now we out here. Now we got the mental chains on. Hating each other. Hey. Read what you got. I will also reject thee. Thou shalt not, thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of, my, of thy God. God said, you know, we forgot his law. Because we forgot his law. We read a law early, Exodus uh, 20. We get that again. Here's a law right here. We're going to read. Here's a law. Exodus chapter 20. Yeah. Exodus chapter 20. All right? Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. God said, thou shalt not kill. You hear what God said? Thou shalt not kill. That's a law that we have to abide by. One of those things, that we have, one of those laws, thou shalt not kill, is an umbrella. What goes under that? Correcting your brother. Right. People have an evil eye towards one another. Right. People just covers us. People are disrespecting our elders. These are laws we gotta keep. Yeah. We gotta love one another. Right. Show brotherly love. Go back to First John chapter four and verse seven. First John four and seven. Now this sister, I didn't want anything to escalate, but this sister's trying to listen to the word of God, and then a man just come out and just be disrespectful. So what does that do to this sister's spirit? She knows her issues. But guess what? We come with the solutions of the Bible right now to help the sister out so she can go home and work on herself. And then she can be a beacon of light to her family. Right. We're all dealing with issues. That's how we deal with matters. We got to stop being so damn emotional and sensual all the time. And sit down like men and women and sit down like men and talk. Right. Sisters sit down with each other and talk. Right. Deal with this Bible. Read what you got. First John chapter 4 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Be loved. Let us love one another. Mm -hmm. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. You be love in the Bible, First John. So, the, uh, so what we gotta do is love one another. God said the brothers and sisters have to love one another. We're gonna show you how what love is according to the Bible. All right, we're gonna show you what love is. First John chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. God said the love of God is that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to tell somebody, hey, no more sons to stop that. Stop killing. It's not hard to tell them, hey, don't do that no more. It's not hard to correct your brothers and sisters. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Family.